Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Pepe Girls team and a build that you can do for the Pepe Girls team or what you must consider when you build with the Pepe Girls team. Now the Pepe Girls team is a pretty fun team but it's a team that lacks a lot of really really strong in game units. Uh, it's got a lot of really strong utility based units and that makes running content like SBR and ESBR quite fun with them but it lacks a couple true end game units but we're going to try and take a look and see how good they can be in end game but first we're going to look at their leads and right now the best lead for the category is Videl who's 170% lead hopefully they'll bring out a 200% lead soon because this will elevate the team quite substantially uh, in terms of the rest of the leads, the other lead you'll often see is Int Rubriana, uh, who or Brianna de Chateau, who will immediately transform into Rub Rub Int Rubriana, not Rub 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 Rub, Rub Int Rubriana. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. You also have some sub leads like Launch, 120% uh, lead in the form of Launch, but yeah, she's also decent. I want to say. Yeah, in general, pretty strong uh, kind of leads, pretty nice variety of leads. The big thing with Pepe Gals is always going to be how you build them. They have a couple kind of divisions, naturally. But the one thing they all have in common, uh, at least from a link perspective, is going to be Battlefield Diva. Now, Battlefield Diva is an incredibly crucial link for the Pepe Gals team, and it tends to kind of, you know, really bind everything together. Um, every single Pepe Girls unit will have Battlefield Diva and it basically keeps them all together. But there's a couple of subsections you can easily see being defined. You have the Earthlings kind of Dragon Ball uh, saga version of things with Launch, uh, Bulma, uh, Chi Chi. And these units will have things like the Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Battlefield Diva, and they'll link up pretty well together. You've got Physical Chi Chi, Strength Chi Chi, Launch, Bulma, all of these units will link up pretty well and they're all going to kind of have the same build. You then get the Universe 6 Saiyans kind of build and this includes units like Kefla, Kale, Khalifla uh, and these units are all going to share crucial links as well. Tournament of the Power, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, etc. Uh, so pretty decent stuff. Universe 6 also has a link. so very strong components of the team also units that probably need an easy a now um although i'm scared to see how good they will be after their easy a which is probably why they're holding off on them then of course we have videl uh videl is kind of an outlier and she falls along with a bunch of other units uh, that are all kind of like outliers or well, not outliers but just aren't specifically designed or metric to one build you also have some Android units as well. Although I don't really think Androids is kind of the way to go with Pepe Girls, just due to the kind of functionality of the Androids and how they all work. And then of course we also have the crossover units and we have the Universe 3 units, which are obviously Ribrian, uh, Kokunsa, and Rosie. And these units all actually link up pretty decently with the Universe 6 ones. Because they share links like Tournament of Power, etc. Uh, Kia Y is also one of these units. So there's some decent linkage there. In terms of how you want to actually build your team, that's going to depend on your content. But like I said, Pepper Girls is definitely more orientated uh, towards ESBR and SBR than it's going to be orientated towards your know, dominating red zone. It's not that they're terrible, it's just that they definitely are geared uh, kind of one way more than the other. And I think that's pretty apparent in how they function. Uh, but overall, you know, your main kind of considerations that you want to bring in is really, if you're looking at it, kind of like an Earthlings slash uh, Dragon Ball Saga build. I think that's generally the best to go with. There's a lot of stuns and seals and a lot of control methods and mitigation that can be applied to this team. I will say, Int Rubrian is incredibly powerful after her easy aim. And running her as a double lead, even though it's a lower lead skill, is honestly not bad, as I definitely think it's better overall, especially if you're taking on harder content like the uh, red zone. Uh, 
I think having two entry Brienne is definitely the better option here. You can then obviously also go for a Universe 6 build. Uh, you kind of run into a similar problem with Universe 6, uh, and that is that you know, there's not necessarily a enough strong units to really warrant running this specific build in red zone. A lot of the Pepper Gals teams lack one or two units to really elevate them. For example, uh, if I had the Kale and Khalifa Tech unit, things would be looking a lot better for the Universe 6 team. But even then, uh, you still lack a little bit of raw. But yeah, in general, there is just that concern. There's a slight concern that uh, the Pepper Girls is just missing maybe one or two batches of very, very strong units. But now, you know, you can kind of work around this, uh, and obviously there's always a lot of considerations to give, but I think in general, Pepper Girls is still in a good position, especially when it comes to, like I said, ESBR content. I do think, you know, that's kind of where their strength lies. I think red zone's one step too far for them. We'll try them out in red zone and see how far they can get in one. There will be a couple of red zones that they can beat, uh, definitely for sure. They have some really strong evasion units, and if you can get a good amount of RNG, you should be pretty good to be set up. But obviously, like I said, there are some concerns to be had, and I think this still rings true for them. I think if they can get one or two more really good ECAs, maybe just some better defensive units, I think they'll be in a very good situation. Because Inkribrian is very, very strong, and I think overall they're very good. On the free-to-play side, they have some great SBR and ESBR options, with lags, uh, Demon Goddess Poutine, all of these being very strong utility-based units. Great Sandman 1 and 2, although more Defenders of Justice unit, is still very, very good. And of course, Rosie, Kukunsa, uh, Strength Ribrian, Kale, Khalifla. You would have seen these units a lot in my free to play series because a lot of these units are very strong and very good when they're geared towards kind of like SBR and the content like that. So, yeah, um, that basically covers Pepe Girls. Obviously, we'll take a look at how they perform in the various bits of content and we'll kind of discuss what team variations you can run in there. I think overall, they're one or two units away from having a very strong team again. But yeah, I do think they're a lot of fun. And one cool thing about Pepe Gals is that a lot of them are accessible via free to play or via raid tickets and things like that. So you can still build a fairly good team um, quite easily. That's it for me. See you next time. Bye.